Thank you so much, brother. Keep it going for Ash. Come on, stage now. Come on, brother. All right, so I was meeting my friend in uh, Beirut, Lebanon, and, and uh, we were living on different parts of the globe, so we came in at different times, and um, Beirut ended up being one of the best places, and it was largely because of the taxi drivers. Um, so the first driver I got in the, in the airport, he chased me down on my way out of the airport, followed me, ended up doing a reverse down the wrong way of the parking lot to get me to join him. So ultimately I did go along um, at an inflated rate. And in the drive, he starts, he asks some questions. He's about the same age as me, I'm in my mid thirties and he looks a little bit older but we're the same age. So he plays some Arabic music and he asked me if I like Arabic music as well. Um, yeah, you know, there's some, I really like the Arabic drums, they got some some rhythm to him. But he loves Arabic music. So he puts in some CDs, and he's so excited, but he can't wait until the, he can't just let the song play. He has to show me the good part. So he would fast forward, and, like, <laughs> and then he would get to the spot, and it would be like 10 or 15 seconds. And so just as I'm settling into the beat, then he would fast forward. <laughs> and and at a certain point, he kind of relaxes and lets it, lets it ride, and, and we're kind of settling into the music, and he, he turns to ask me, and he says, where are you from? So I, at the time, I was living in Qatar, but I had a home in California, so I live in California. And uh, he asked me, California ladies good at the sex? <laughs> and I, well, yeah, you know, yeah, about as like anywhere else. How, how, about, how about Lebanon women? Uh, he thinks about it, yeah. Yeah, living on women, they're good at the sex too. <laughs> so anyhow, this is how the drive goes, the fast forwarding the music, talking about our various cultural. And we come into the neighborhood where I'm, I'm staying in the hotel and there's military people on the corners in these, these shrouded camouflage. He pulls up to the intersection, kind of looks left and right, barely even stops, red light, just cruises through. And soldiers don't care, you know, it's just kind of how daily life is there. Um, so I meet my friend, we're hanging out in Beirut, having a good time. Maybe a day or two later, we need to get from here to there. So time to get a new taxi. We flag one down, and this guy's a little bit older, maybe in his 40s or 50s. And we sit in the back seat, and he starts to tell us that he's in love. And uh, maybe, just maybe, he has a chance with this woman. Um, they had known each other for a while, and they were friends, and earlier in the day, he had given her a ride in his, in his taxi. And so he tells us what he was saying to her in the car. And it begins with, four years I go without sex. Always I'm thinking of you. Every day I'm jacking my dick. Three times a day I jack my dick until I come. Always I'm thinking of you. And so he turns and looks back to us, and. He, he continues, and he says, I tell her this, yes. And then I hold up my fingers, two fingers. I want to smell your perfume on my fingers. And I mean, my friend and I are just hysterical in the back of the taxi, like, yes, please, more, more. And uh, so he continues. He says, yes, I tell her this, and then I put my hand on her leg, and I say, I know you are fucking somebody else. But still, I... Every day I jack my dick, always I'm thinking of you, three times a day. So that's taxi ride number two. And the week goes by, my friend and I, I mean, we're having a blast. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, it's heartbreaking, actually, to hear about all the stuff that's going on in Syria, because Lebanon and Syria are kind of like U.S. and Canada. So towards the end of my trip, uh, we have one more taxi ride. We're out for the night. We have a great night, and the nightlife in Beirut is just, it's ridiculous. So we get this other guy, and he's even a little bit older, and uh, we ask him how much, and he says $20, and we're like, hey, 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 you know, we're only going 10 minutes or so. So like 20,000 pounds, more like, which is roughly half, and he's like, yeah, yeah, 20,000, come on. So we sit in the back again, and uh, he 
starts to tell us his woes, you know. All day I drive the taxi, very little money, four babies, 16 hours per day, four hours per baby. And my friend and I are kind of talking. We're trying to think about the night. And, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's tough, you know. Said, but I'm tough, yes. Life is tough, and I'm tough like, like that guy in Kung Fu. What's, what's his name? And my friend said, David Carradine? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tough like David Carradine. Maybe I'm also tough like that Mr. Charles Bronson. Yes, yes, life is tough, but I'm tough. And then he, my friend and I are talking a little bit more, and he kind of minds, his, minds himself for a little bit. And then he comes back and says, yeah, sometimes I sing when, uh, when there's no, nobody in the taxi. I sometimes sing to myself. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, so what, what music do you like? Oh, you know, I like ABBA. <laughs> and then he, he begins to sing to us. Because she's a dancing queen. Only 17, having the time of our life. And again, my friend and I are just like, oh, this is too much. <laughs> like, one, two, three, how many rides are we going to have like this? So like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So what else? Uh, you know, I like Queen. Yeah, you know that Freddie Mercury, he's like, he's like Charles Bronson, too. He's tough. And uh, he's like, yeah, maybe someday I have an album, too. And he starts singing Queen, you know, uh, um, Oh, I'm forgetting. But then he pulls out his uh, jaw harp, and he starts twanging away like, like, maybe someday I have an album too, like Mr. Fred or Mercury. And uh, so we pull up to where we're at. He drops us off at our hotel, and I turn to my friend. I'm like, dude, I'm giving him that 20 bucks because he earned it with that performance. All right. <laughs>